Renji, thank you so much, and I'll I'll try my level best to be stay within uh, the time, right? Okay. And let me just quickly jump on to my slides. You know, uh, basically, uh, I what I I I will say is the my fellow speakers you know they have actually set the context you know yeah. it, it's the ax which will drive your cx okay if you are taking care of our agents the brand of uh, the voice of your brand specifically you know when we are talking about that right so it's it's giving them the right tool sets it it equip, uh, you know we need to equip them with the right technology, uh, the applications, right, which can help them to drive the CX, right? It's not the the executives, the leaders, you know, who are who are going to handle the CX over there. They can actually help the agents to do their job in the best possible manner, improving their productivity, helping them to improve their KPIs, right? And at the same point of time, handle the CX for the overall brand. So with this context set, you know, what I will try and cover within my today's agenda, uh, as you can see over here, it's more uh, to do with, you know, uh, just a quick slide on our Jabra legacy. You know, we are into the audio engineering space, right? Uh, something we will talk about some facts, you know, in my second uh, portion of the presentation. And yes, in a very quick and short manner, a quick highlight on a very high level view in how Jabra is kind of supporting and providing the solutions to boost the CX uh, for all the organization. Having said that, let's jump into the, you know, Jabra legacy. Uh, it's all in the numbers, right? You see, we are innovating from last 150 years, right? We are a global Danish firm headquartered in Denmark with over 7,000. And I'm, I'm sure now by now we are kind of uh, more, more than even 8,000 numbers, right? And if you remember during our initial discussions, you know, I was saying technology is something which is at the core of, uh, of GN Group, right? Jabra. Uh, that is where you see for us, all the time we have different pillars and we actually innovate and do R&D within our R&D centers based in different geographic locations as well into different use cases also, whether it is medical, professional, consumer grade audio. And that is something which is which is key for us to to grow and bring the right, you know, we, we, we actually try keep on growing on the innovation area and see that what is the best technology that can help our, our customers for today, right? Uh, this is a quick roadmap. I will not dwell into that, but just to give you an insight for everyone to know that we started with the telegraph uh, connections and systems, right? And that is where way back, going in 1870s uh, as the as the scenario right and at the same point of time if you see we have been growing by after that into different different uh, across the um, you know across the industry whether it is talking about medical aids whether we are talking about gamings whether we are talking about these spaces from the you know supporting the government entities whether it is from the military grade equipments as well and also within the professional environment looking at uc and cc spaces also so this is a vast history of GN and, you know, that's where the customers place their trust on us, where when we are talking about making uh, all the audio engineering and innovating into this particular space. Having said that, let's quickly jump on to, let me minimize this, let me quickly jump on to the uh, the next section of my presentation and I'm keeping the, the time in mind over here. Uh, here, it's like, we are seeing, you know, everywhere there are some every two, two and a half years, three years, there is something or the new thing which is coming on, on to uh, for the customers to look into, right? And and with that, the organization has also have to uh, keep aligned with that newest technology, right? But at the same point of time, the needs and wants of the customers are also changing. With the changing needs of customers we need to see that how we can empower our agents also to cater to those those needs in the changing world for the customers and agents, right? And that is where, you know, there are certain facts which we should be kind of take, thinking about while we know what exactly the trend is going on, where we can, we can provide the solution. So having said that, let's 
typically see customer experience. Now, based on the study, right, and then that is something which is from you know last three years we we are seeing this is the thing which is which is already trending and which is coming true. This slide, of course, the study was what we are showing is from 2021, but this is getting in the truer zone. And that's why I wanted to present this slide that, you know, when the, the Deloitte study has come in, when Jabra did a contact center survey as well, you know, the, what the top priority for your, for any business, you know, in the next five years, and we are actually coming into that area, right? This is the fourth year after the survey and we are seeing customer experience is going to be the top notch, uh, you know, focused area apart from other KPIs into the operational efficiency area, right? So that's where you're seeing the trend is still going towards that direction, right? Uh, we are seeing, uh, you know, staying true to that particular direction, whatever we have surveyed and base basis each of these analysis, we place our product, the Jabra kind of do the survey where the trend is going and possibly try and bring those particular technology coming onto the market. So having said that, we are seeing this trend from past three, four years go growing. And I'm sure in the next five, six years as well, it will be keep on going. And that's where our survey is also saying the same. Having said that, let's see what exactly customer wants. You know, uh, this is on the latest study done by Genesis, you know, from the perspective of state of the customer experience study in 2023, right? Customer wants speed and efficiency. What drives their, you know, their, their experience? What they want is like first interaction resolution, like we were talking about in our initial discussion, right? Uh, they need faster response. When we are talking about faster response, it can be based on the knowledge of the agents, but it can also be based on, you know, how equipped that agent is to not, uh, you know, playing or maybe adjusting the tools and technology which he has, but that he has the information available with him. But at the same point of time, he is interacting with the best possible voice he has. And a 33% ha responded has already said that the apathy and the listening ability of a particular agent is something which is very important when we are talking about solving a customer problem, right? So when we look at this, you know, what brings into our mind is the most important aspect is equipping employees with the necessary tools to assist immediately, right? And any source of uh, break or any source of friction, any source of issues in between using that technology or the tools may impact each of these speed and efficiency requirement of the customer, thus impacting your customer experience. What's the AI potential? Everyone says, and we are talking about AI, AI every every time. And honestly speaking, uh, you know, my fellow speakers have just mentioned about this, right? AI is there as a tool to equip, to assist the human interaction. So humans are not going to go anywhere. Humans want to interact with human, right? And that is where we are talking about AI's potential to help improvise, right? So if you see based on one of the studies, again, in the recent uh, year, right, you see the top benefit for uh, the AI's potential is to help on increasing the productivity, right? We even see that, you know, the investment on self services to serve low complex and high volume interaction. And I would, uh, you know, I, I would, to, uh, request my audience to keep this thought in the mind that you see the 65% of investment on the self-services channels, right? And AI, in, um, uh, AI are being used to solve the low complex and high volume interaction. What does this mean? We will quickly jump on into my next slide and we will kind of try and, and look at the relation with this, right? Uh, again, like we said, AI is equipping uh, the or the medium to solve certain issues and can help the agents to quickly solve the issues. That is where it has to increase uh, the critical thinking ability, right? Self-learning ability and, you know, try and solve the complex issues of the customers. So if you see this, you know, critical thinking, low complex, high volume calls, right? And the AI, even identifying the areas of training. So AI is somewhere the technology or the solution or the, the, the uh, I say the tool to assist the organization to improve the efficiency. And at the same point of time, the speed with the, with the agents can actually solve customers problem. Uh, 
Now, if you, while I have actually spoken in my earlier slide about that 65% talking about low complex and high volume calls, what does this mean? You know, the self services channel are actually being designed to solve issues like, okay, what is my this month's bill, right? Possibly I want to change my address, right? Those are, those doesn't require a human intelligence, right? So the point where Vinod has said, you know, the requirement of human intelligence will be there, human interaction will be there, right? So when the human, the places or the issues where the human interaction is less, the, those are the self-services information or the areas, the chatbots and the other AI applications can help. But at the same point of time, if you see in customer journey, the voice is still the king, right? With all these numbers, which you are seeing on the screen, you know, it defines that even today, the complex calls, just imagine you have try to solve your issue uh, on the chatbot, you didn't got, get the answer. The chatbot also helps you uh, to connect to the live agent. That there also you're not satisfied. What you will do? At the end of the day, you will try and pick up the call and you will try and solve that particular issue by talking to a customer, uh, to, to an agent, right? And that is where we are talking about 29% of the customers still prefer live agent, right, via phone. And 12% of customers, is something which is on a very email live chat and chat bot particularly. But at the if you see on the right hand side, 82% of consumers say that getting their issues resolved quickly is the number one factor and which we have seen one of the other studies as well talking about the same, right? So having said that, balancing customer journey, which includes your self-service, which include your AI helping you to get more information, but at the same point of time, the balancing out the voice channel is also key. What next? Analytics, right? The, the insights into your conversation, the operationalizing information, right? You have to have certain level of insights to see that what is working, what is not working, where exactly are the gaps. And if you see, there was a, a one slide where I have spoken about the identifying the training needs, right? Where exactly the things, uh, the gaps are to help the agents, right, to improvise, right, so that in indirectly or directly, you know, it is going to impact your customer experience. So if you see the 56% real-time and historical analytics, right, is better to ma manage customer and employ in a uniform per performance view. So uh, like in the previous presentations, you know, by the fellow speakers over here, you see that one single pain uh, view of all the insights helps to take decisions faster, right? Where we are missing uh, is from the audio standpoint, right? How can we know that whether the agents are working in the right environment? Is it they are working, uh, they have the right tools and technology and at the same point of time, are they working in less noisy background environment, right? Or what who is who is using a lot of mute percentages is there is a lot of silence percentages and everything which is impacting the customer experience so that is where you know the capability of speedy and efficient customer interaction the analytics can help to have the information in one view right and voice and text analytics capability are the key enablers if you see the recent study from deloitte is something which is saying that you need to have more and more analytical voice-based analytics, which can actually help to find out where the gap is, right? And this is one very key important and which which I have seen that, you know, some, some of the organizations see that, okay, the, the voice or the speech clarity doesn't impact anywhere, right? But if you see, this is a study done by Cisco itself that 88% of contact center employees say customers can be difficult to hear, right? So, this can impact the repeat calls. This can impact your increase in the call handling time, right? If you are not able to hear customer very clearly, right? That, that means like you are asking the question again and again to the customer and you are frustrating the customer. And that is where even your average handle time of the call duration increases, which is a very key factor in improving the operational efficiency. So looking at all these factual data, you know, how does Jabra can help? How can Jabra boost your customer experience being an audio engineering provider company, right? And that is where we are talking about. What we are talking about is linking the missing link, 
right? If you see all the organizations are actually putting more and more effort towards all the top of the funnel, uh, help helping applications, right? Whether workforce management, multiple experience platforms and other uh, platforms to give help the agents into all these uh, information perspective. But if you see the bottom of the funnel, which is like giving the right, the source point, the end point source of the communication is your voice, is the headset solution, right? And that is where, you know, Jabra mentions that we give you certain level of insights, the digital headsets, which is our digital last mile solution, which are engage uh, series of our solutions. Having said that, what we have done with our engage solution is they have been certified, tested uh, on the UC as well as all the leading contact center platforms. And it's a complete plug and play kind of an approach. So you don't have to have a different integration requirement to kind of use this particular technology. And what exactly we can do is we can give you certain level of insights as well, which is from the perspective of noise monitoring. You know, these insights can be utilized to place in your current dashboard as well, right? Give you certain level of conversational flow and the behavioral patterns like, you know, you talk about people doing a lot of mutes. You talk about, you know, what is the kind of background noise environment they are working in. And these informations uh, we can give you in real time as well with our Engage Plus app. So we have Engage 50 Mark II and Engage 40 is our digital enabled uh, solutions or the headset solutions, which comes with a free of cost application, which is Engage Plus, which gives you all these real time insights in terms of how a custom, uh, agent is performing and how it is impacting the customer experience as well. So given this, uh, this technology, which we have, right, when we are talking about uh, all these digital insights and everything, what, how does it work? In a very simple line, these digital uh, headsets have chipset Build within the uh, within the headset with an algorithm and the ability to cancel up to 36 decibels, which is the top notch cancellation in any of the other uh, solution headsets providers, right? Uh, within our range as well, these are the top notch cancellation. And how we can do is like, because we have three multiple mics on the headphones, which identify the background noise and the algorithm, what it does is it separates it out. And with the AI based solution or the way we are able to separate this voice and crystal clear the, uh, you know, the technology, crystal clear the waves of the sound, you know, you have any kind of extra disturbances coming in from, let's say, hissing noise or maybe heavy breathing that actually clears a lot. So how this is going to help, of course, you have recording solution, you have uh, speech to text conversions, and that is where you, you need a clear cut recording to be, you know, with the right transcriptions. You have real time conversation quality, like I already said, that cross talks and amount of silence. And of course, you have direct integration with call, co in, uh, call control integration with all the platforms, right? So that is where the AI and analytics ecosystem, these digital headsets can help. So real and rich uh, time, uh, you know, real and rich data insights where you have includes every uh, information in terms of your call duration, the background noise, the critical noise, which is coming in. Uh, if you are able to see my screen, I have this particular apps on my uh, small apps like Engage Plus, which shows what kind of background noise is coming, how much uh, is the background noise I'm able to cancel. Uh, at the same point of time, you get the targeted and action actionable insights, right, in terms of the KPI performance of the employees. And having these informations in real time, the agent can take certain actions during the call to improve the CX, right? If my background is very higher, I can move to a, a better uh, less noisy environment or having the headsets which can cancel up to 36 decibels you still have to not worry about it but at the same point of time if you have exceeded your call duration you can actually say that okay you need to wrap up the call that is where it impacts that is where it helps to improve the cx and moving on to my next slide you know the needs of from the endpoint analytic solution, like we said, and we were talking about the quality and durability. So we cover all the range of mobile, flexible, durable, and quality uh, level of solutions where 
you have the lightest of the headsets we uh, the the you know the the weight of our headsets are within 45 grams to 55 grams these are such lighter like, like a kitkat uh, uh you know kitkat is is one of the one of the uh, chocolates which comes from you know with with three layers and having the light light very light weight over there so it's a feather light headset uh and then as i mentioned you know we have the uh, algorithms we have the length of the wire so that the mobile and flexibility can happen and the best part is we give 3 years of warranty over here right uh the ability to give you insights it's something which helps you to build the quality so uh, in a summary view you know uh, we have spoken about all the real time analytics what jabra also brings in uh, onto the table is the voice analytics right and when we are talking about voice analytics it's all about the real time assistance for uh, advisors and supervisors it's the emotional sentiment analysis which we we are able to drive and we are able to give in real time you know and it is all about the tone the tonality based insights that's where you know in real time as an agent that is my customer getting is more engaged or a is he in an angry mode and do i need to take some actions at the same point of time right to improvise on the go so like i said we are based on the tone of voice not what is said but it is all about how it is said and you know the customer sentiment is something in real time if i know i can take some improvising steps on the go that's where the voice and audio solutions we put together and give you some of the insights which are low hanging which can be improvised in one go and this if you see the below of my slide there these are the kind of impacts which we are able to make right 70% or report have improved the motivation uh 90% have of the users achieve better customer satisfaction and so shorter calls right and that is where it is important that we know that what are the gaps where we need the improvement at agent level and at the same point of time we know that how we are able to solve the customer experience in real time uh, by improvising these small low hanging insights from the audio engineering solutions so with this i will pause myself i hope i was with the time andy but uh, this was a quick input in terms of what are the factual things which are going in the present customer experience area and how jabra can solve and help solve the organization the customer experience issues thank you so much